cleaning and studying, but most importantly, sewing. Sewing? That sounds boring. Oh, I can assure you that it is. A mandatory task nonetheless. All who will join our order begin by weaving their will into an enchanted piece of fabric, the staple of the solstice warrior. It is their most prized possession, guaranteeing light in the darkness places, and a measure of protection against the minions of the Fleshmancer. But first you must learn of your duties. Train until you cannot feel your limbs and then train some more. Once both your body and mind are ripe with potential, you will create a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. You will then be sent out beyond the Forbidden Cavern to meet with the Elder Mist, for it alone may officially grant the title of Solstice Warrior. Sewing I understand it is not what you were hoping for, but it is what is required of you for the time being. Years of sewing. <laughs> that will be all for today. A lot of sewing. And I need something to drink. Okay, much better. You will be spending a lot of time in this hole, so you should make yourselves at home. To your left is the training room. You are to go there first thing in the morning. Just above is the way to my chambers. It is off limits, of course. And to your right are the dormitories. Just make sure you pick a bed aligned with your innate magic. Feel free to look around, then go to sleep when you are ready. Good night. Oh, we have a moment without reading. Let's check the training area. Let's pick with a woman over here. Oh, there you are. Moraine finally decided that you were ready. Yeah. We have stairs to nowhere. We can go go back back. We can go up there. I remember when Erlina and Brogaves were your age, they wouldn't stop running. I feel old now. Yes, you are. Okay, we have to go and sleep. Here? Yes. <clears throat> the next morning in the training room. Good morning, fellas. Whoa, we are training with... So, you'll be our trainer. I wish. Erlina and I are leaving tomorrow, but the headmaster was kind enough to let us make your first day special. Are you ready for training? You bet. That's what I like to hear. I reckon those should be well suited for the two of you. Zale received training sword. Valer received training staff. Alright, let's get to work. We have weapons of strong power. Hof, hof. 
You got this, Valer. Don't give up now. Never. Keep running. Come on, Zell. Keep up. Oh, okay. I can do this. That's a lot of training. Push ups. <laughs> 99 100 that's it for today you did great phew that was a lot feel free to take a break erlina will see you on the terrace whenever you're ready just outside of the academy entrance yeah a lot of training there Where is that? Down here? Yep. Oh, there you are. Ready to learn magic? It sure feel as if something was scratching an itch far away from you. You must focus on the sensation and compel it to come closer. I think it's working. Hey, you startled me. I almost had it. Now mine's gone too. It's okay, just breathe slowly. Oh, look at them. Try to release only when you feel its current passing in front of you. If your timing is true, it will manifest. One, three, on three. One, two, three. I think I felt it. It tickles. Right there, you just did the hardest part. I'm sure your training will go well, but one more thing. No matter what the headmaster teaches you, remember that this is your life and Erlina... Hmm. Since you are done, onboarding our new recruits in the ways of magic i will provide a briefing for your next assignment as for the two of you it is about time you try that swing it move along now oh look at them and making a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars sure is a tall order yeah, I have no idea what shape to even make. At least the headmaster said we wouldn't get it right the first time. Or maybe... Well, I'm bored. What are you doing? I'll just walk around a bit. Walk around to where? Doing basics. Basics. You keep saying that, but the Flashmancer left our realm for good when the Dweller of Strife was destroyed. So why can't they have a normal life? Oh, we are going to hear things. And you know the the three of us can take the one on Wrath Island. We don't need them. Prudence, Erlina. There is no telling what threats we may face in the future. Valerenze will be brought to Moon Cradle by the Great Eagle. It is not the place of the Headmaster to question such things. And neither is it yours. The Great Eagle. So how much is enough? What about Moyara? What about the twins? Brogaves, do not judge a sacrifice you cannot begin to comprehend. This conversation is over. They will study here while you carry on with your investigation. On the first eclipse, after the training is complete, they will join us for the cleansing. Learn as much as you can until then. But... Let's just go. Hmm. Hmm. 
And so they trained and they sued for days and then for months. Faster now. Faster, 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 faster. Focus and then release. And the longer a dweller is left to its device, the stronger it gets. This makes patrol duty essential. Let one grow for too long and you have a world eater on your hands. Against such a foe, even a legion of solstice warriors will be helpless. Since delaying only increases the chances of a world eater, cleansing always target the strongest dweller known to us. Headmaster, if dwellers are immune to our magic, how can we fight them? Ah, that is why cleansing are always performed during a total eclipse. In these moments, only the dweller weaknesses are exposed. How many dwellers are left? Just the one known as the dweller of woe, but we cannot know for sure. The Flashmaster just may have planted other seeds of evil before leaving our world. Thus we must always remain vigilant. Headmaster? Yes, Valer? What happened with the Dweller of Strife and who's Moyara? Whoops. That will be all for today. We are going to learn that later, maybe. A few weeks later, a sound in the night. Valer, wake up. What is it? I think I heard a voice coming from the entrance. What time is it? Who cares? Let's go check it out. All right. Oh, we have a save here. Let's save. We did a lot of things. I'll be back in a minute.
Oh, okay. Let's head outside. Where? To the entrance? Down here. Oh, hey, look. What's that? Oh, smells good. There's a note. Oh, it's Garl. Dear Valer and Zale, if you're reading this, it probably means I got cough. I'm writing this as a failsafe, but I hope to see you in person. I made cookies filled with the celestial willow jam you liked. Oh, keep reading. I'm doing everything I can to be ready to leave when you graduate. In the meantime, I hope your training is going well. Oops, now the platform is almost up and I can see Moraine is there waiting for me. He looks very angry. I will try to drop the jar without him noticing. I guess that means I won't be able to try a visit again, but I'm thinking of you every day and I can't wait. I hope you like the cookies. Your friend until the end of time, Gar. Gar's the best. Let's go up on the disc to eat the cookies. Got cookie jar. Poor girl. These cookies are amazing. I can't believe Gar was just there. I miss him so much. He seems well at least after what happened in the Forbidden Cavern. Knowing him, I bet he smiled it away the next day. You're probably right. We can let something like this happen ever again. At this rate, it feels like we'll never see something good enough for the Elder Mists. It will happen. We just have to keep on training hard. Keep on training hard. And so they train and they sued for years. Oh, they are older now, you see. And then they train and they sue some more. And they older now. Until one day. Yeah, maybe this is the day. We are the best. We are done with the suing. They, oh, Valer. That's the one. I can feel it too. Hold on. All right, I think I got it too. Let's go to see the headmaster. Let's save again. Heroes in the making. Yes, we are. Oh, it's over here. Headmaster, we think we're ready. Why, yes, the tingling of magic in the air has been building up for a few weeks now. Congratulations, moving forward there will be no more suing. I can deal with that. It will soon be time for you to live on your journey to meet the Elder Mist. But before we get to that, Zenith Academy has one more challenge for you. Oh, our visitors just arrived. Perfect timing. Whoops. My, you've both grown pretty strong. Hey, it's good to see you. Erlina and Bragaves are here to help you review the basics of combat. Check in with them, then it will be time for your final test. Ready to go through the basics of magic? Yes. Let's train more. When enemies prepare spells, you must do everything you can to prevent them. If you follow your senses, you can try dealing damage of the types that will break their concentration. Simpler spells will only demand normal attacks. Valer can do blunt damage and Zale has slicing. 
Let's see if you break this one. Power 100% uh, attack. 12. Just like that. Now, some spell will also demand magic damage to break. You can control your projectiles now, so let's give it a shot. Zael for Sun and Valer for Moon. Ah, okay. So, Sun and Moon, so we both have, okay. Moon is for me. Press to deflect. Awesome. And Sunball, hold for more power. Oh my god, 40 damage. Well done, now you can sense your MP is a bit low, right? To keep up the pace in battle, you must remember to regenerate MP. Let's build it back up a bit, hit me with a normal attack now. Oh, okay. So hitting the normal attack will increase the MP. Did you feel that? You just got some MP back by attacking. In battle, awareness leads to victory. You must pace your spells with normal attacks to avoid ending up in a dire situation with no MP available to get out of it. And on the flip side, you should not hesitate to use spells when MP abounds for a regular attack on a full bar. It's a waste of regeneration. The key is to experiment, keep on varying your actions and find the rhythm appropriate for each battle. One last thing, all battle actions lack breaking especially build your combo energy. When you have enough, you can spend combo points to perform powerful actions. Combos cost no MP and are lost after battle, so you should never hesitate to use them. Moraine told me you came up with your first combo attack. Show it to me. Sources strike. Okay. Yeah, you're strong, alright. Keep an eye out in your adventures. You're bound to come across scrolls that will teach you more combos. Good luck with the exam. I'm sure you'll do great. Want to review combat basics? Yes. Let's go here. Let's get started. Just attack me now in any order. Use to cycle through available characters. Party members can use their turn in order of your choice, but they can only act once per round. When all of your party members are on cooldown, the round resets and they all become available again. Okay. Fourteen and twelve. Good. Focus is paramount whenever you perform attacks and skills. With proper timing, you can increase the damage that you deal and sometimes even score additional hits. Let's see it. Press X as the hit connects to increase damage. That was too soon. Stay focused and press as the hit connects. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Let's see that one more time. <laughs> Ouch, yeah, that's the gist of it. Most of your attacks and spells can be made more potent with proper timing. Some also keep going with more hits until you miss. And remember to think of timing hits as a welcome addition when you pull it off, rather than something you're supposed to do perfectly all the time. So don't worry about it too much, just keep on trying and your sense for it will develop over time. Okay, now for timing your blocks, let's get the little guy in here. To be efficient in battle, you must pay attention to anything that starts moving. With proper timing, you can reduce the damage of any incoming attack or spells by blocking. Get ready. Mm. 
Good. Let's see that one more time. No. But what's too soon? Remember to always stay alert. Some patterns will be harder to read than others. Sometimes even require multiple blocks. But don't be too hard on yourself. No one is expected to block everything all the time. It's not about getting it perfectly all the time, but rather building a growing sense for it. Just think of a time block as a welcome bonus whenever you happen to pull it off. The key is remembering to read your enemies and to keep trying. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. When a party member gets knocked out in battle, you will need to switch to a more offensive mode. Knockout allies will get back up on their own at 50% HP once all the knockout stars are gone. One knockout star is removed at the end of each round. The more you fall during the same battle, the more knockout stars there are, so be careful. If all party members go down, it's game over. Fight, fight and survive until Zayla returns. Well, it's up, and there you have it. Good work today, I'm sure the exam will be a breeze. Moraine, we'll see you to the final test. I'm sure you'll do great. Are you ready for the final test then? Of course. We are very ready. Always ready. The big day has finally come. Over the years, Zenith Academy has tested you in many ways. It will now test you one last time. Have you prepared your vows? Yes, Headmaster. Then speak them now. You go for Zale. Okay. <clears throat> so that I may use my agility to cleanse this world and protect my companions, I will enter the world as a blade dancer. I chose the curved blade as it will not hide my speed of reflexes. Welcome, blade dancer. Come on, I did it now, it's your turn. So that I may use my strength to inspire hope and eradicate evil, I will become a battle monk. I chose the staff, for it won't break no matter how hard I strike. Welcome, battle monk. Today you must demonstrate mastery of everything Zenith Academy has taught you. Your final challenge awaits below. Please step aside. Oh, before I forget, here is a little something to keep your health full. Obtain three tomato club. Now with faith in your abilities and purpose in your actions, take the leap and return as the new recruits of our order. I'm ready. Let's just go for it. Leap of faith, Assassin's Creed. <laughs> Whoa, and there is water, of course. Oh, there is a chest up there. Hey, I need a chest. Yeah, we have stairs. Found an ornate stone. <laughs> 